right, this is part eight of uh, my creating a security device, which is this uh, motion tracker here. And what I've done is I've done some organization that's going to help me out with uh, starting to put some materials on this and, and doing some renders. All right, so I've separated this out. Um, and this will vary based on your models um, for the body. I've separated out into section one, two, three, and four. Um, the speaker here, I can you know, hide or, or show as I like. So I've got my just various parts here labeled so I can go through that quite easily. Uh, I've separated out the battery itself with the wire and the input. The base down here. Okay, so I've got the, I've got these together. Okay, that the ends, the handle itself. This is the the basic metal part of that. For hardware, that's where I'll put things like the clip. Okay, down here, whether it's metal and a piece of plastic or, or rubber there. I've got the buttons, the front buttons there, all grouped together. And then I put all my dials uh, in here. So wherever there's a dial, these the front dials and, and all the side dials are all labeled uh, as well. And then anything extra, sort of panels, all right, these things. So I've got the panels here, these uh, panels or grill, whatever, this panel. Okay, so that will just all uh, help me in terms of my organization and finding things and putting materials. And all I want to do in this video is uh, an ambient occlusion uh, render. And so what I'm going to do is um, there are no materials on this uh, right now. So I'm just going to uh, create a new material uh, just like that. And uh, I'm going to select everything by pressing A and shift and click on this one here. So this one is the active one and go control L materials. And if I come over to here, I should have the same material. I should just have material. I could call this um, know, ambient occlusion because that's what I want to do. Not really an ambient occlusion material, but I'll just call it that because I'm going to use it for ambient occlusion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a camera. Just like that. And then it's, you know, at this the origin there. So I'm going to go uh, control alt zero so I can look through the camera at that position. And lock camera to view and to close that and scroll out a bit. And uh, this is a relatively square model. So I don't want this. So I'm going to come over here. I'm in cycles. And I'm going to switch this to 1024 by 1024. And I'll get, uh, say that. Okay, so uh, I'll keep saving. I'm going to press zero to go out of that. Uh, we're going to need some light in here. And I'm just going to use uh, an HDRI image. So I'll come over to the uh, world tab and under color, I'll click on the circle I'm going to choose environment texture and over here I'm just going to open up an HDRI that I got from the internet I'll, I'll use this one and that will create the light for my scene now uh, another thing I need to do is go over the shading tab here and uh, under the material just select the material there's only one material it's the ambient occlusion material and so here I'm just going to add another node input. There you go. There it is at the very top, ambient occlusion. And I'm going to drag the color into the base color. But I'll do one more thing. I'll just pull that out and I'll add a color ramp. And I'm going to drag the block up and then I'll just make it a bit more intense. So let's go back to layout and uh, I'll use like this actually I'm not sure about that world one I changed my mind I'm going to use this uh, I'll try a short tunnel okay um, I'm also going to come over to here and under film 
I'm going to choose transparent. I can go to here. And you start seeing my model coming through. Okay, almost done and ready to, to give it a try here. I'm going to choose uh, 200 for my samples. That's good enough. And uh, denoising. And I'm going to give it a go. And here you can see my first render of this thing. And it's looking pretty nice with the ambient occlusion in there. And uh, now I can just come over here and I can press, say, 6. And I'll just turn it around like that. And I'll do another render from there. Okay, so that's just a very uh, basic uh, view of this thing uh, with the ambient occlusion on. And in preparation for uh, adding some actual materials and textures to this thing.